Okay then, in today's video, I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know about Behemoroth. So with that being said, let's get into it. Starting off with the typing, Behemoroth is a pure Earth-type Lumion, which means defensively we are weak to water, plant, and ice, we resist, only toxic, and then we're immune to electric on top of that. And then offensively, we can hit fire, electric, metal, and toxic-type Lumions, all for super effective stab damage. Next up then, let's go over the base stats. Behemoroth has 115 health, 90 energy, 150 melee attack, 100 melee defense, 55 range attack, 55 range defense, and 85 speed. So defensively, on the melee side, we can take quite a lot of hits. Not so much on the range defense side though. Like maybe we can take one or two hits on a good day, but we should probably try avoid range attacks as much as possible. Energy stat learn, we have quite a lot of energy so we can spam a lot of moves. Melee attack stat is through the roof, we can hit things and just completely nuke them. Not so much on the range attack side though. Probably are never going to use any range attacks whatsoever, like ever. And then for our speed stat, it's actually really, really good. It's a nice spot, we can outspeed a lot of tanks, and we can outspeed a lot of slower wall breaker Lumions, kind of like Soulburst Eruptodon. Now let's go over the abilities. Behemoth only has one normal ability, which is called Landborn. It is a brand new ability, and it will increase the strength of our Earth-type attacks by 25%. And then the secret ability is called All-Seeing, which is another new ability, and every Titan has this as a secret ability. Basically, it makes it so the opponents cannot hide from our moves whatsoever. It will turn all of our moves into 101% accurate, is what I like to call them. Basically, it will bypass dodge, but also bypass ignore of scapegoats, and every move that you use will also ignore near and far enchantments. So basically, the only moves that can actually block you from using your attacks are the block moves, Briar Block and Magma Block. Moving on to the moves, starting with the level up moves, Behemoth gets Expert Onslaught, Stare, Burrow, Quicksand, Eevee Stare, Clay Slap, Power Focus, Headbutt, Mudslide, Slumber, High Pitch Screech, and Earthquake. Which yes, I did mention a brand new move in there, which is a level 1 move Expert Onslaught. This move starts off as a simple typing, however, the type of this move changes to match the user's primary typing, so in this case for Behemoth, it is a pure Earth type, so it'll become an earth type move. The type of attack will also change depending on what is higher, your melee attack stat or your range attack stat. If your melee is higher, it'll be a melee move. If your range is higher, it'll be a range move. So Behemoth, it will always be a melee attack. And then on top of all of that, the power of this move also changes. It starts off at base 50 power and then gets plus 25 power for every other Lumion that you have in your party that corresponds with the typing of this Lumion. So for Behemoth's case, being an earth type, for every other earth type Lumion that you have on your team, will give it plus 25 power, including Behemoth. So technically it starts off with a 75 base power move, since Behemoth also counts, and then the maximum power is 175. Also, this move does not include your bench, just your active party. And then for the other moves, starting with MMs, Behemoth gets Dodge, Hypnotize, Bulk Up, and Must Batter. And then for Rally moves, it gets Landslide, Driving Force, Primal Slash, Shrew Blast, and Timber Thrash. 